This is Disinganno, Release from Sin, dedicated to Raimondo's father. His father had led a dissolute life, but at last he found release in piety. The highlight of the chapel is without any doubt San Martino's veiled Christ. This beautiful sculpture, carved from a single block of stone, depicts the image of Christ, covered with a shroud. What strikes me most is his face. From this angle, it looks like Christ is still suffering. But as you move along his body, his face changes, as though at last he has found peace. Out of the thousands of images of Christ in my country, this is the one that moves me most. Naples has many wonderful things, but I think its greatest cultural contribution to the world was pizza. Buonasera. Buonasera. Qui fate la vera pizza, vero? Facciamo la vera pizza napoletana. Posso curiosare? Prego, napoletana. Adesso prendiamo il panello. Questa, ah, il panello è fatto panello di acqua, lievito. Sale. Sale e farina. E se non mettiamo la farina, che facciamo? Giusto. Che facciamo? Basta così. Piano piano. Così. Si deve accarezzare. Così. Accarezza come una donna. Eh, bravo, come una donna. Eh, mamma mia, ha maltratto come una donna. Ma lo faccio vedere io come eh, si sì. Ma adesso. E adesso che facciamo? Come faccio che fai te? Ok. Cucchiai tre quarti. Va bene così. Ecco. E questa è la mozzarella questa, di bufala. Questa è la mozzarella di bufala. Stendolo bene. Posso assaggiarla? Sì, sì, vai, non ti preoccupare. Poi ci mettiamo un po' di basilico. Olio. Sempre il senso orario, là. Ok. Poi prendiamo il formaggio. Così, giusto? Ah, lo appoggiamo. Ah, vedi, è fatta apposta. E poi col ponetto. Vediamo. Be careful, because I'm... Piano, vado lì. Va velocissimo. Giretto, vedi. Già pronta? Sì, sì. Ti aspetto allora. Allora, un attimo solo che vengo. Beh, diciamo che la sua è un po' più rotonda. <ride> Com'è? Nonostante ci abbia messo io il mio zampino, è favoloso, però gli ingredienti... È, 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 ingrediente, è quella quella che è contro. E per voi la, la pizza napoletana è tutta? La napoletana quando si sveglia la mattina, un cornetto o una pizza, una pizza. <ride> Ma all'estero ci mettono l'ananas. No, non ci va. No. Non è più pizza. Barbari. <ride> Stai sempre qua, un punto di cambia e sa sta via. Naples is full of tiny and ancient shops. They are called bassi. Permesso? Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Ho visto dei bellissimi fiori. Li fa lei? Sono bellissimi. E questo è il suo negozio? Ed è anche la casa? Ah, posso vederla? Prego. 
This is a typical Neapolitan basso, a one-room house, which is also a shop. Bassi have existed since medieval times. Today there are still over 40,000 of them, where entire families live and carry on their day-to-day -day business. But many Bassi hold a secret. In this one lies the entrance to another world. You see, there are two Naples. The one we all know under the sun and another one under my feet. Below the city are hundreds of tunnels and caves. Some of the tunnels are over 5,000 years old and were certainly used by the ancient Greeks. These tunnels are 40 meters deep. They stretch for over 100 kilometers. Listen, complete silence. Quite a change from the loud hustle and bustle of the city above. It's spooky. The Romans continued to build the tunnels into an ambitious system of canals and huge wells. All this kept the people of Naples supplied with water all year round. As I'm walking down, the temperature slowly drops and the tunnels are getting smaller and smaller. It's a little bit claustrophobic. During the Second World War, these tunnels were used by people for shelter from air raids. There are stories of couples who got married here, women who gave birth, and many who died because of the bad air and the filthy conditions. All along these walls are reminders of the suffering of those people forced to live down here for weeks, sometimes even months. Look, aiuto, help. And look at this graffiti. Mussolini, Hitler, the world, vinceremo. We shall win. Well, not quite. But there is an even darker side to underground Naples. Crypts dating as far back as the 1600s. In 1656, Naples was hit by a terrible plague. At its peak, 1,000 people were dying every day. There were so many bodies to bury that they began dumping them 
in caves beneath the city. It is believed there are many hundreds of thousands of the dead down here. Neapolitans have a strange relationship with death. They used to come to underground crypts like this and adopt a skull, keep it polished and put it in a box. They would cry for its death and pray for its soul. In exchange, they would ask the spirit to perform favors, heal a sick relative, or give winning numbers for the lottery. In the end, the church forbade these practices. And in the 1980s, this section of underground Naples was closed to the public forever. I emerge in the church of Santa Maria del Purgatorio. That's in sacco. The keeper is anxious for me to leave as quietly as possible, so no one knows where I've been. Light again. Stop smoking. In the last leg of my journey, the mystical south of Italy, where antiquity is revered, tradition honored. And at last, a fantastic homecoming as I arrive in the land of my mother. Mama. Yeah. 